Thermistors are electronic devices used to react to a change in temperature by temporarily adjusting the resistance value based on that temperature change. The term thermistor is a mix of the words thermal and resistor. There are two types of thermistors, NTC and PTC. NTC, or negative temperature coefficient thermistors, are made of materials that decrease in resistance as the temperature increases, then increase resistance as the temperature drops. NTCs are susceptible to very small changes in temperature, making them ideal for use as temperature sensors, or to be placed in series with a circuit as inrush current limiters. This animation demonstrates the thermistor being used as an inrush current limiter. Initially, inrush current is partially blocked, or limited, by the high resistance of the thermistor and is shed as heat. As the thermistor heats up, its internal resistance drops, allowing more current to flow until it reaches its standard operating current flow and temperature level. There are three common varieties of NTC thermistors. Ceramic bead thermistors, which are known for stability and fast response times. Disc and chip thermistors that have a slower response time than ceramic bead thermistors, but have a better current handling capacity. This is often the package used for inrush current limiting applications. And glass encapsulated thermistors for use in applications that will exceed 150 degrees Celsius. The glass also helps to protect them from environmental changes. All three types follow the same gradual temperature curve. Common real-world uses for NTC thermistors are in ovens, air conditioners, or fire detectors. PTC, or positive temperature coefficient thermistors, are made of materials that increase resistance in response to a rise in temperature, while a decrease in temperature decreases their resistance. These are typically placed in series with a circuit as inline resettable fuses to protect against overcurrent situations. Here, when the overcurrent situation occurs, the temperature rapidly spikes, causing the thermistor's resistance to increase as well, reducing the current that is allowed through. There are two varieties of PTC thermistors. The first is a silicon-based thermistor called a silister, which has temperature characteristics that follow a linear temperature curve with resistance gradually rising as the temperature rises. These are not very common, but do exist. The second is a switching type. These behave like an NTC thermistor until they cross a temperature barrier called the Curie point, or Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is a defined temperature trip point at which certain materials lose their permanent magnetic properties, which in short affects the device by creating barriers when it reaches the Curie temperature to allow the resistance to increase rapidly. Common real-world uses for PTC thermistors are in motors, small heaters, and thermostats. Now that you've learned all about thermistors and how they function, you can incorporate the thousands available on digikey.com into your next project. And be sure to watch some of our other videos to learn about more topics. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!